On we go. Let's talk about the NBA just very briefly. They can't stay healthy. Uh, everybody's excited the Lakers have won a few games. They still can't stay healthy. LeBron James and Anthony Davis are again dinged up, although Anthony Davis last week had back-to-back -back games of 45 and 55 points. That being said, the Lakers are not a playoff team at this point in time. And now the question, because we've gotten beyond Thanksgiving, and that's when the Lakers said they'd start to consider whether or not they should keep that guy or trade that guy, Russell Westbrook. Now the story comes back out there that they've reopened talks with the Indiana Pacers. And the, the question is for Indiana to take on Russell Westbrook's contract, $47 million for whatever's left this season. They also want the Lakers to include two number one picks in 2027 and 2029. Uh, Lakers have refused to do that because then they'd be mortgaging off the whole future. The issue is, though, if they can get rid of Westbrook's contract, the Lakers will have real significant salary cap money to use next summer. Um, what I think the Lakers should do is tell Indiana, you want uh, these two number one picks will probably be pretty high. You flip us one of your future number ones. Get us something back in our inventory that at least we can have in our pocket to use. I, I give credit to Darvin Ham. He, he's been really tough on his players. And he told Russell Westbrook, this is the role. This is what I want you to do. Go do it. And Russell's got the motivation. He's playing for his next contract, whatever dollar value that would be, whether it's 20 million or 30 million, it's surely not going to be 47. Westbrook has adopted to what they want done. Now he's not playing as much defense as he should, but Russell Westbrook is averaging 18 points and eight assists and four rebounds per game. So off the bench, I still think he's got value, and he's playing for the next contract. So this bears watching as we've rolled into December because the Lakers said we'll make a decision right after Thanksgiving whether we keep this thing intact or and try to be competitive or, or if we can get Miles Turner and we had Buddy Heald from Indiana, three-point shooter and a, a rim protector, if they make that deal and think they could get better that way with those two guys rather than with Russell Westbrook reaction. Uh, the L.A. Lakers fans must be coming out of their mind. I mean, they're they're so accustomed to Showtime, to the Kobe era and Shaq, and now the the franchise is a shambles. Um, when LeBron signed, there was a lot of enthusiasm, and when a you know, when AD came, a lot of extra enthusiasm. It just hasn't panned out. So they're in between a rock and a hard place with this Westbrook contract. I mean, I, th I agree with you. I think if they could flip them to Indiana, you know, Buddy Heald's a, de a definitely a great player. He played at Oklahoma, I think. Yes. Right. And he, he was great back then. Um, br you know, bring him in um, and maybe they can get a number one back from the Pacers. Cause it'll probably be a low number one because the Pacers will be a lot better. Boy, if the Lakers could do that, I, I think they're going to be in a, in a different state, maybe not better, but maybe not a heck of a lot worse.